In today's enlightening sermon, Apostle Joshua Selman fervently delves into the realm of supernatural encounters. With deep spiritual insights and anointing, he passionately leads the congregation in a prayer for the manifestation of supernatural encounters. The atmosphere is charged with an expectancy of divine visitation, as Apostle Selman guides the listeners to open their hearts to the mysteries of the spiritual realm. Apostle Joshua Selman emphasizes the significance of seeking supernatural encounters in the journey to greatness. Before we proceed, I kindly invite you to engage with this message by liking the video, sharing it with those you believe could find it beneficial, and subscribing to our channel for more insightful videos. Your support is greatly appreciated. May blessings abound as you lend your ears to this transformative message. Anyone here that the hand of death is upon, that you will not enter 2024 by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Oh, death, where is your sting? And oh, grave, where is your victory? Uh, hear me I'm hearing in my spirit rebuke the spirit of untimely death the spirit of untimely death ah there are families here every year someone must die patterns of death have been sent by the spirit I want to declare now the Lord is asking me to do something very prophetic for these groups of people you don't have to bring them out there are prophetic intercessors. Hold that gentleman and just keep him there. There are prophetic intercessors. Hear me. Men and women who will begin to rise from Ghana. Prayer groups. Prayer cells. People with mantles that will pray the program of God. Not everybody. Women who understand the art of the altar. And men who can pray. I don't know who that person is. But I stretch my hands from here. May that mantle of a prophetic intercessor right now let it fall upon you Parakatoskiata, help them let it fall upon you i release upon you the mantle of a watchman the mantle of an intercessor the grace to stand upon your watch in the name of jesus over territories There are destinies, there are men who have been held by the power of witchcraft, kept down so that they do not move. The horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, and against Israel, so that no man will lift up his head. But tonight I come as a carpenter by the power that raised Christ from the dead. At the count of three, everyone here who is a victim, of ancestry bloodline witchcraft orchestrations of dark power it must let you go right now Ghana are you ready to shout in the name of Jesus after the count of three one two three shout Jesus shout Jesus shout Jesus now release your destinies now release your destinies now release your destinies now bring them out in the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon every manipulation of witchcraft, every orchestration. Please help the ushers, whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release your destiny tonight. I open up that door. We are still praying. Give way, give way by the spirit of the living God. Give way. Who is this king of glory? He says the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. I stand as one sent by God. That every force tying down destinies that will not let Ghanaians rise, will not let you shine in the name of Jesus, the captain of our salvation, be delivered now. 
be delivered now. Hallelujah. While she pray, the Lord is opening my eyes in the spirit. And I'm seeing the feet of people having chains. Chains. Not the hands, but the feet. And they are unable to move in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the sound of Paracatosiata of my voice that has been held by chains of ancestry. In the name of Jesus. Chains break. Chains break. Chains break. Chains break. In the name of Jesus. Chains break. Chains break over destinies. Chains break over families. Chains break over businesses. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me that there are families that no matter how educated they are, the doors of employment never comes. So you find people within that family, but doors are not opening. I stand here tonight by the spirit of grace and prophecy. I don't know who that person is, but I declare that door opens for you now. Just hold him and, and delivering their families. This is why they came. Therefore, I decree and declare that every legal access that the devil has by the blood right now this moment that legal access is hereby broken 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 release their families now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus I speak to you by the spirit of grace that the calamities and the pharaohs the captivities that you have seen before now you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I hear my spirit strengthen the weary this is particularly to men and women of God in ministry I sense in my spirit that there are men and women of God who are here but they are weary it looks like serving God does not seem to have any advantage again and some of you are about to give up the Lord is sending me to speak to you by the Spirit please hear me I want you to know that the Bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut off he said at the scent of water at the scent of water I'm speaking to a man of God you have come too far to give up you may have walked in error but the key is not leaving ministry the key is having some time with Jesus, a reconsecration again, and to begin your work with Jesus with authenticity and genuineness. For some, you may need to dissociate yourself from wrong, ungodly associations. But God is giving you a new beginning, by all means, a new if the sermons have been a source of blessing, elevating your life to break every chain and inspiring you to serve God with your heart, soul and body, we warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. By tuning on the notification bell, you ensure that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription is not just a click, it's a commitment to continued spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. As we journey together in faith, our channel seeks to provide a haven for spiritual seekers and believers alike. We believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our aim is to share messages that resonate with your soul. So, join our community, subscribe, and let the light of divine wisdom guide your path.
Thank you for being part of this uplifting journey, and may God's blessings overflow in your life. Amen.